Hello everyone, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today I'm going to be doing my June TBR. I have a lot of books picked out, so I'm really excited. So yeah, let me just get right into it. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to be talking about is the sequel to The Progeny, which I spoke about in my Friday Reads. So I'm currently rereading The Progeny right now. But I plan to jump right into this one right after, and that is Firstborn by Tosca Lee. They did a cover change on this book. I think it's really atrocious considering how beautiful the original cover of the first book is that I own. Um, but I love the story nonetheless, so I'll live with it, I guess. Um, but this book is the sequel to the House of Bathory duology. So yeah, I plan to get right into this one. The second book that I plan to read in the month of June is my May uppercase book, and that is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. This, as far as I can tell, uh, is about a, um, a young girl in high school who wins the lottery and events ensue, and you get to uh, sort of realize where true happiness comes from and not putting a price tag on... Um, on what real happiness um, entails. So I hope to enjoy this one. I've really loved the last few uppercase books that have come in the mail. Um, this one, the premise seems a little bit strange, but nonetheless, I hope to really enjoy it. The next book that I plan to pick up in the month of June is one of my books for the Read Harder um, the Read Harder Challenge that I'm doing in 2017. And the book that I picked for this coming month is Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I said before that I really loved Americana. I read that in 2015, I believe, and it was one of my favorite books that year. So I wanted to pick up something else by her, and I really hope to enjoy this. It's about a family in Nigeria, um, similar to maybe similar to Americana, but we'll have to see. It's a very short book. It's not very big at all, so hopefully I really enjoy it. The next book that I plan to pick up in the month of June is a historical fiction, and I hauled this a few months ago, but that is The War of Roses by Alison Weir. I have been wanting to read more historical fiction lately. It's sort of fallen to the back burner the last couple of months, but I hope to get right back into it. Um, this, of course, is about the famed War of the Roses um, in the, oh god, what century was that? 15th? Um, 16th? I can't remember. <laughs> um, I don't really know much about British history. British literature, yes, but history, not so much. So I really hope to learn a lot from this, and I really hope to enjoy it. Alison Weir is a renowned um historian as well as author so you know this came highly recommended so I cannot wait to get into this one. The next book that I have is another book by Alison Weir and that is Innocent Traitor and this is about Lady Jane Grey who was queen for nine days before Mary um, stormed in and took over the throne. Jane Grey was a um, a Protestant and Mary was a Catholic and Mary was also the sister, the half-sister to King Edward that died so she felt it her rightful place and she locked up Jane in the Tower of London and executed her. So I have always been really fascinated with Jane Grey so as soon as I saw this book available I picked it up because I'm really, um, I know I will love this. The next book that I plan on reading this coming month, and it was my TBR jar pick, and that is Gemina by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Gemina is the sequel to Illuminae, which I read a couple years ago, actually. I had the uh, arc to Illuminae, um, and this is the sequel. It follows a different set of characters, but the story is told in much the same way. It's told through... Um, through chat logs and emails and newspaper clippings and schematics. Um, it's 
told through a dossier of just a whole bunch of different kinds of documents, classified documents. And, you know, it has a really interesting, interesting way of telling a story. And I think that's really the reason that I enjoyed the first book so much. You can see here some weird, some pages don't even have any text hardly. Um, yeah, this just has coding on it, not even text, not even words. Um, but I think that's really why I enjoyed the first book so much. You know, just like Illuminae, these books look huge. And they are. They are very, very big. But because of the way they are written, it really reads more like a 300-page book rather than a 700-page book. So I really... I really hope to love this as much as I loved Illuminae. I just think the whole reading experience of it is just fun in and of itself. The next book that I'm picking up for June is my other TBR jar pick, and that is Off the Page by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Jodi Picoult is very, you know, a famous adult author. I'm sure you all have heard of her. This she wrote with her daughter. Um as a YA novel, and the first book, this is a duology. Um, I don't think there's a third book. Actually, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but Between the Lines is the first book, and I read that first book probably a little more than a year ago, and I really enjoyed it. It's very cute, very innocent, um, about a girl who is who loves to read, and she has a favorite book, and then one day, she sort of enters the world of the book. She falls into the book. <laughs> and um, and then when she returns to the real world, um, one of the characters follows her. So it's really, it's really a strange, just fun read. Even though this is a YA novel, it sort of reads kind of like middle grade. Um, it's not, but it, it sort of seems that way. It's just so so innocent and sweet and yeah I just can't wait to get right into this one so those are all of the books I am currently right in the middle of dust which is a book taking place in Kenya it's the June read around the world book club pick and I'm really enjoying that book I'm only a little bit of the way uh, through but I'm still really enjoying it I'm currently working on that and I'll probably be working on it for you know, the next couple of weeks. And I'm also starting The Progeny, which, like I said, is the first book in the um, House of Bathory series, where Firstborn is, is the sequel. So that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed my June TBR. I'm really excited to get into all of these books. I just cannot, cannot wait. Um, I'm really excited, especially, I think, for the historical fiction. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.